periodicity is the variation of the properties of elements in a regular pattern, both across the periods and down the group. These properties are melting and boiling point, electronegativity, metallic and non-metallic character, atomic radius, ionization energy, and electron affinity. Elements in groups one, two, and three are metals. These elements are held by metallic bonds. They are held by metallic bonds. Okay, now the strength of the metallic bond increases from group one to three. Therefore, the amount of heat energy required to break these elements down, these metals down, increases from left to right. Therefore, we say melting point and boiling point for metals increases from left to right, from group one to group three. Elements in group four are non-metals or mostly metalloids. They have strong covalent bonds between atoms, forming giant three-dimensional crystalline lattices like that in diamond. Therefore, very high temperatures are needed to break the bonding in these elements. We can assume or say that the melting points and boiling points actually increases from group one to group four. From group one to group four, melting points and boiling points of elements increases. Elements in group five, six, seven to eight are simple covalent molecules. These elements are simple covalent molecules. They are held by very weak intermolecular forces. They're held together by weak intermolecular forces. Intermolecular forces. Therefore, the melting and boiling points for these elements will decrease. As a general rule, melting points and boiling points for metals increases. For non-metals, it decreases. Okay, melting points and boiling points for metals increases while for non-metals, it decreases from left to right across the period. It is therefore important to note that down the group for metals, the melting points and boiling points will decrease. It increased from left to right across the period, it will decrease down the group. For non-metals, melting points and boiling points will increase down the group. So if we note that Melting point increases for metals, it will decrease down the group. And if it decreases for non-metals across the period, it will definitely increase down the group for non-metals. Now let's look at the atomic size of elements across the period. This is the second period. We are taking lithium, boron, and nitrogen. Now, lithium, atomic number is three. Therefore, the nuclear charge is plus three. The nuclear charge is plus three for lithium. Boron, atomic number is five. The nuclear charge, plus five. Nitrogen is plus seven. These are the nuclear charges. Now, the nucleus poses an attractive force on the electrons. The electrons for lithium is three. Three electrons. Electrons for boron, five five electrons. Electrons for nitrogen, seven. Seven electrons. Okay, now the nucleus poses an attractive force on the electron. The nucleus is positively charged. Therefore, it attracts the electrons that are negatively charged. Since the nucleus increases in size from plus three to plus five to plus seven, Therefore, the attractive force on the electrons increases. Once the attractive force increases, the size of the atom reduces. Since the positive attracts the negative, the size reduces. And plus five, positive charge, can attract more than plus three. Therefore, plus five will be smaller than plus three. Plus seven can attract more, has a higher positive power, attractive power than plus five. Therefore, plus seven will be smaller. Therefore, we say the atomic sizes of elements will decrease across a per period, 
from left to right. Atomic size of elements decreases across the period. Therefore, lithium is larger in size when compared to boron and when compared to nitrogen because of the increase in the nuclear charge. Since we now know this, on going down the group, the atomic size will increase going down the group. Once we're able to determine that the atomic size decreases across the period from left to right, the reverse will be going down the group. So atomic sizes will increase from top to bottom. Ionization energy is the energy required to remove the valence electron from an atom. The energy required to remove the most or the last electron, the valence electron from an atom. This is dependent on the size of the nucleus. The size of the nucleus determines how easy it is for electrons to be taken off. The size here is plus three. The size of the nucleus is plus five. The size of this is plus seven. This has a smaller size in terms of the atomic radius. This is larger in terms of atomic radius. Therefore, it's, deep, it's more difficult to remove an electron from this than from this. Okay, so we say ionization energy will increase from left to right. Ionization energy increases from left to right because of the ease with which electrons are taken off from these atoms than from the other atoms. And we also know that metals easily lose electrons. Non-metals gain electrons. Therefore, it will be easier to lose an electron from here than to lose an electron here. So the energy required to remove an electron will be greater here than at this point. Ionization energy therefore increases from left to right across the period. Since we now know this, that means down the group, the energy will decrease. The energy required to remove the valence electron from an atom will decrease down the group. If it increases from left to right across the period, it will decrease down the group. 